Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play Blade and Soul Force Master Edition. I don't want to say edition, everything's an edition these days. Alright, so we're on our way to the next area if we don't get stuck first. That'd be a very, very bad instant start. Uh, you can also... Oops, sorry, I stopped recording because I was trying to hit F12, I hit the wrong key. Uh, F12 will actually switch to between your actual action skill bar and skill bar for emotes, as you can see there. And it's split up in sections. Like one is just general emotes. Two is, I think, like party emotes. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Anyway, let's just switch to the regular and get ready to beat some ass. So here is one of the good places where you can start, what the? You can start using your, or at least this is where I farmed uh, bamboo guards for the the uh, black ram. In fact, it looks like somebody's doing that now. Let's go ahead and grab these quests quickly. Uh, if we hurry, we might help them out. Just to show you guys how that works. There's old man show. This is not an overly useful windwalk skill, but it's just fucking awesome to watch uh, because you like vault over things. Well, that wasn't it. Hold on. Smaller stuff like this, like that. It's pretty badass looking. All right, so you see we got some people attacking the bamboo guards here, and they're wearing the black room, the black room outfits. So what they basically the reason they're doing it is because eventually a special guy will spawn. I'll I'll help you because you're not apparently AFK there, son of a. Really? Get your ass up. Alright, so what we can do, let's switch to our wardrobe here. Grab our black room uniform. Just die! Now, keep in mind, if you put this black room uniform on, now first of all, bamboo guards will attack you, so now you can see that guy is hostile. But now, all this black room NPCs are not hostile to me. But the bamboo guard are. However, keep in mind if you see any, if you see any, uh, if there's any players who are wearing bamboo guards specifically, they can uh, attack you. So keep that in mind. And basically, these guys spawn nonstop. I'm gonna actually use a healing potion because they have a hard time getting to me. But man, if they hit me like at all. I take a ton of damage. I'm trying to let them take the blunt of everything. Now, eventually, there's really no point to killing these. Well, we don't get any direct benefit from killing these guys. And also notice these guys, uh, their, their names are like a teal color. That means they're in the black ram and they're allies with us. Now, the reason you kill them, though, is now, as you can see, Dochin just spawned. Yes, that's the same Dochin our, our buddy. Now we can kick his ass and wow, he went down. He's normally not that easy, guys. Uh, don't come in here at level like 21 and think I'm just gonna solo this camp and I'm just gonna solo Dochin. Not gonna happen, at least not easily. Ooh, he actually, uh, that was interesting. He like, it looks like he interrupted his, his animation. But there's so many of us here we're blowing it up pretty easy. And I'm not gonna do this a lot. We'll probably do one more spawn of, of Captain Doshin. But the faster, I was gonna say the faster you kill these guys, the faster, really? That counted? Bullshit. That was plenty far away. But I was gonna say, it seems like the faster you, you know, kill these, the faster Doshin's gonna spawn. I don't really know if that's true. Because I, I've actually have farmed this by myself when I was like 10 levels higher than this area, and I could solo the entire thing by myself as a Kung Fu Master. And even by myself, it seemed to spawn at about the same rate. You like that well-timed dodge? I know you did. But anyway, we're not gonna do this long. I just gonna wanna show you guys how this works. Oh, and there's Doshin. We definitely do not want to fuck around because he does a shitload of damage, as you can see. After this, we will stop. 
locked. Yeah, get this asshole off me. I'm trying to get far enough away to switch outfits. Uh, or, well, I want to loot, actually. Hurry up, I want to loot this chest. Now, sorry I'm not giving you really a chance to look at it. But, alright, let's go ahead and switch outfits since our health is low. Of course, again, just like with other suits, it does take five seconds to switch. Now, the minute I switch, it goes right back to the way it was. So, the guards are totally fine with me again, and the black room hate me again. It's kind of funny because you can just sit here for 30 minutes massacring dozens of bamboo guys. The minute you switch clothes, they're like, oh, hey, how you doing? How's your mama and them? It was kind of funny. So anyway, what's the point of all that? The point is to get these guard insignias. Now, as far as I can tell, you'll either get you can, the max you can get is two, because even soloing, I only got two at a time. And you can take those, those, and if you look at Dragon Express, look at the premium shop or the premium membership, which I do think you have to have premium access to get this. You can buy this Ivory Spectre outfit. And it doesn't give you any benefits, except it looks fucking sick. Other than looking fucking sick, it doesn't give you any benefits. Just like all the other outfits. Uh, it actually kind of... I can't decide if I like it better, the female or the male version. Because I think I think the light colors work on her better than it does on my big burly kung fu master dude. But still, regardless, it looks badass. And there is an equivalent for doing the same thing against the pirates if you wear the bamboo guard. Even though I'm not really sure of a good place to do that. Uh, let's take a look at it. I, d <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like the dark, darker colors, but the stripes look goofy. Man, the boob physics are hilarious. Like, I love boobs as much, if not more than the next guy. Probably more. But like, and I, I get my little like, haha, yeah, jiggly boobs. But like, when they're that jiggly, it's distracting. It's like, I can't even think straight because my barrel brain's short circuiting. Because of all the insane gravity defying uh, physics. Like, give him a little bit of jiggle, but let's not, let's not go crazy. Let's not pretend we've got. She's like smuggling jello into space. One thing I will say you gotta be careful of here, because this happened to me repeatedly, where you've got this group here fighting the bamboo guards, and then all of a sudden, everybody leaves. Like, like one minute. I'm with, like, my fellow Black Ram guys murdering bamboo guards. And the next, I'm like, man, why am I taking so much damage? And I look around, and, like, everybody is gone. <laughs> so be on the lookout, because that has almost killed me a few times. Because things can get very nasty, especially if you're fighting up there a bit. You can get respawns very quickly, and it gets, like I say, very ugly. I'm not used to not, uh, really? Get up. Not used to them, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. But, uh, uh, shit. God damn it. I hate when shit spawns and it's like, ah, they're not quite up yet. I also hate not being close to where they hit. My god! That's horse shit. Man, the fucking range on these guys is real. That is one problem I have noticed in this game, though. They are, like, the hit range on a lot of stuff is pretty bad. Like, I, there has been times where I've clearly been out of, like, the animation or the, like, model range. And with AEs, I've noticed. Like, where, like, you can see the circle on the ground. Like, I can clearly see that I'm outside of the range, and it hits me anyway. Here you do it. All right, let's go up here. This is definitely a bigger pain in the ass with a Force Master since she doesn't have hardly any hit points. And nothing to really prevent, like, at least some damage. Because you're going to take damage, regardless. Well, from uh, ranged enemies, at least. Locked. I was waiting for that to happen. Yeah, I really want to find something to make that detonation thing. It just takes forever. Like, in a boss, it's fine. Like, if you're fighting in a dungeon and fighting a boss, 
Five seconds is not a big deal because the boss is going to be up for a while. Yeah, those we just got to kill fast. Or else they get that free hit. Uh, I think we want to head that way. How many more of the snipers do we need? Are we done with those? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get these guys together. What? Wait, what? So I guess that works even if they're... That's interesting to know. I did not know they could jump while they were rooted. Interesting. Well, good to know. Blocked! Blocked! Yeah, I know there's some quests up here. I want to see if there was like a running attack. Ding dong. I'm gonna have to learn our new, like, good rotation. This build definitely seems much better for groups. So I gotta find groups of enemies that where none of them have a ranged attack. Or one person has a ranged. If I can just pile everybody around the guy who's got, you know, ranged attack, then root them, then we can burn them up. Alright, so up here... We need to, like, bang the drums and kill dudes, I think. I thought for sure that was actually still gonna hit me. I love that attack. Oh, that's right, you have to grab this. <laughs> like, you just smacked it, didn't make a noise. Nice. I'm kind of getting back into some of that. Ooh, there's like three guys over here. We need to, oh, we don't need them anymore. Damn. You know what? Let's do this as a pra practice session. Ah, damn it. Fine, but ifs. What do we need here? Black room patrol, black room outriders. There's an outrider. Keep forgetting, I had forgotten how just how much damage impact does when they are rooted. Yeah, it doesn't even use uh, focus. Oh, hello, crap. Not today. We're good. We're good today. That nobody gave us a cool quest to kill you. Damn it, every time I want to like grab something together, somebody else shows up. What assholes. Nope, no kick for you. Luckily that kick has a pretty damn long windup. We need three more outriders and seven more patrollers. Here's a patroller. Eh, that was kind of a waste. By kind of a waste, I mean a complete waste. It's interesting how some abilities can drastically change. I'm surprised that kick didn't hit me. Uh, seven seconds on that. We'll, uh... Son of a bitch. I think he he was, like, already in the middle of uh, the animation. Holy shit. Or he could just completely devastate them, whichever. Oh, okay. I didn't think he was ice because it didn't make the little ice, like the <laughs> sound. That's exactly what it sounds like, by the way. They didn't try to think about fixing or saying it's not. All right, that's the quest we got from beating the name dude up there, I believe. <laughs> you dropped it on the ground, idiot. Let's check for these guys. A uh, oh, little heavy uh, level one crabs. Stop killing my dudes. How many more patrols do we need? Three. Ten. <laughs> Fell just short. 
at least so far, it feels like we're mixing it up a little bit better than with, uh... With the, uh, Kung Fu Master. A little bit. Of course, part of that is probably due to the fact that we don't have, like, an ideal setup just yet. Throw a little bit more on the fireballs there. Yeah, we gotta do better about... Yeah, here we go. Thought I had them both on that last dragon char, dragon charl, not char, not charl, damn it. I was even correcting myself and still said it wrong. Charl, why do I want to edge over at the damn end? Every time. All right, let's see what's over here because I don't know what this main story guy wants us to do. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's one good way, by the way, to get to higher places. Oh, I don't remember this. Oh, that train. Yeah, I do. If you need to get somewhere that's higher... Hold on, I want to finish this guy off, because he's going to be a pain in the ass, I can already tell. Defended. I don't know if you hit, the, hit him with the first impact, if that breaks the stun or not. Hmm. I went to mess with that. But anyway, like, so, like, here, like, it's like, ah, oh, I need to get a little bit higher, and sprinting isn't quite doing it. Okay, pretend that sprint doesn't quite do it there, because sometimes it doesn't work. You can just kind of jump out, and then float, and then kind of double back immediately. I, that's a bad example, but trust me, damn it, sometimes that's actually useful. Uh, recruits and cadets. The hell? Oh. The assassin. Don't even know what I'm looking for. Guys suck. Nah. <sighs> Disappoint. There's a patrol, which I don't need. Outrider. These guys are all dead. We might switch instances again here shortly if we don't get the ones we need. Uh, these patrol are the operatives. Cadets and recruits are over there. Let's see if we can't find the operatives. Patrol. Oh god, stamina, please. Some tall ass grass. Ah, patrol, outrider. I think I think they're over here. Oh, that's right, we needed the bushes too. This one should. Unless somebody just got it. You know what? Screw this. Too many people here. You have moved to another channel. Oh, oh, I wonder if maybe if you wear the bamboo guard here? I don't know. I don't know how good of an idea that would be, it feels like. Ooh, he uh, resisted that. What a dick. was not like I was in range but I'd moved to the side maybe it ignores well no it doesn't completely ignore it for sure Locked. be blocking in hell bitch but yeah I don't think it, it completely ignores where you're like where you're standing in relation to where they're swinging but maybe it just matters less than distance I don't know Pitch. Get ready. Knock that off. There's another operative. If it will let me get out of combat. Yeah, he was he was out of it by then. 
I want to. Hmm. I mean, as as nice it is as it is to have the AE ability, I kind of miss that like super damage dragon Charl. Char, Char. Oh god, damn it! Just, just loot it. Oh sweet, there's another one. I think these are just like mines, like right, like they respawn over time. Because like, look when I grab it, that thing drops, which I guess some nobody can bother to repair. Yeah, I do the extra hits to get those embers on, and then do the impact, because impact does more damage the more those stacks you get. Alright, recruits and cadets. Trainer. There we go. Ah, God damn it. That's how you do it. In a bomb? Holy shit, look at it bouncing around. That's pretty sick, actually. Alright, that's all the cadets we need in. For now. Is there not anything to the left? I guess that's later. Yeah, it's gonna send us over there to kill those weird things in a little bit. Let's go turn these in, then we'll head on to the next area. Only 20 minutes in, so... And sorry I've not been doing these... Up... These... Uploads daily despite me wanting to do them daily. Yeah, I'll learn, bitch. But uh, yeah, it's not doing them daily, even though that was the intention. I'm trying to like schedule and find ways to schedule so that I can keep up with that uh, schedule of doing them daily. But it's off. But it's difficult. Uh, to just find the time to do it all. But, I'm always trying new things to, like, make it so that I can do it, so. Basically what I'm trying to do now is record, like, six to seven parts at a time. Like, six or seven days worth. No, I can depend on you. And, you know, plan my other stuff. Blah, 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 boring shit. Long story short, I'm working on getting it so you guys get, at least for the time being, a Force Master every day. Now, eventually, I'm going to stop doing doing them every single day. Uh, I might switch to, like, three to four times a week. But we'll see. With this, you know, with these series, I don't know. Like, th this character's leveling pretty darn fast. So I feel like it might not be necessary. Oh, I want to do the vault. I love the vault. Like, it's not really useful in any practical sense. But it's just really fun to do. All right, let's go ahead and do this, turn this quest in first, because these guys might actually send us over there to do some stuff. I'm not sure. Damn it, I was sure I'd stop. Sour swords are exceptional. Ah, swords are exceptional, mate. Oi. Yeah, he's got some hit points on him, don't you? Big boy. Not enough, though. I'm afraid? Not enough. These are all melee, I think? Damn it. Somebody grab the other one. I don't even know why I'm using my regular fire. When there's more than one like that, when I've got full focus, there's really no point. Just do Dragon Char, more damage, right? Surely. 282 to uh, versus 108, yeah, half the damage, so definitely do that. Oh, that's right. There we go. I remember this. We had to destroy these rocks for some reason. There we go. Pick this up. Uh, use, well, use the Shattered Rock to build a tower. Oh, where did the shit? Oh, there it is. Oh, here's a better one, because that enemy's not just right there in the way. Remove the ceiling charm. 
from the signal's face. I think that's over there. We'll go do that in just a second. I did this quest kind of closer to the face last time, so... Nope. This guy. Really? Get the fuck out. Oh, that shit. That's what that bullshit is. Because, also, too, if you have tougher enemies like that... Ooh. Oh, wait, was that a bronze bangle? I think we already had the skin for that. Uh, because, too, if you're doing that dragon char shit, it's also stacking embers on them. So if you finish it up with impact while they're frozen at the end, it's a lot of damage. Though, ideally, you don't want to do the dragon char if you don't... Or the dragon whirl if you have to, because... Uh, just because it's got kind of a longer cooldown. A little bit. But then the AE does too. Anyway, let's see what it's going to put our point into. Looks like it is this. No. So what did you put it into? I am quite curious. A frost bomb. Increased range attack speed upon a frost with skill, blah, blah, blah. Focus cost two. The amount of up the damage. I hate how it does it. You can't see the difference between just a, like a flat one and the first point. Increased range attack speed. Mm, that's not really that sexy. We'll try it. I mean, since that's what they gave us, we'll give it a whirl. No pun intended. All right, so we need to get gather stone biter hides. Oh shit! Hello. Uh, which of course means I probably should, you know, try to use the ice thing once in a while. It just really throws me off that it uses so much focus. Like two for the ice seems. A little intense. Yes. Yeah, not all that sexy. Of course, it would be a good idea to use that in general anyway, since we get that defense bonus whenever we use any frost skill. We'll get it figured out. I mean, that's one of the fun things. I, you know, of course, like I say, I could just look online and get like, oh, this is the, this is the order of things that you should do. 100% of the time. Okay, that guy is like just lost over there. Ah, shit. Shit. Okay. I did catch the water on fire. That's kind of nice. Fairly impressive. But yeah, we'll, we'll get the hang of it. Like I said, if you could always look up the most optimal rotation, and sometimes I do. But it's kind of fun to screw around with it and find it yourself. I don't know, it's more rewarding that way. All right, yes, we did have a sealed bronze bangle already. Can we upgrade this yet? I haven't been paying attention to what we're getting. I guess at least get it to level five. Yeah, that's all we can do right now. But we're fairly close to getting it up to the breakthrough level, which is good. We need Reapers and Stone Biters. There's more over here. In my experience, most people don't come to do these. And honestly, it's better to aggro them without attacking. Really? Wait, what the hell was that? Weird lag spike. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit me regardless, but I can't seem to get them together. Just a little bit better. Don't better hide. Oh, we still need six more of these. Damn. It. Uh. 
Because if we're not in combat... God damn it. I hate having to double hit back for that. Oh, so you want some of this shit too, I see. Ugh, God, that's... Especially because this game's really bad about making knockdowns last for goddamn ever. Well, hey, they, they, they last like... They last like a second, which feels like forever. It feels like forever. Alright, this... Now this is definitely not going to. Meridian... Yeah. Damn it. That's fine. We'll go ahead and do it. It's already in here. I don't think it's any cheaper to just wait until you get it all and do it all at once. I think it's probably the same price or same cost regardless. But Jay, you want to stay out of combat for as long as possible. Nope. Stop doing that. Dumbass. How many times have I said? Don't do the flame fist thing. Really, I should start with something else. Because the dragon world... Or, damn it, the dragon... Yeah, no, yes, the dragon world gives us focus. So I really should start with something else. Alright, one more. We'll go ahead and start working back that way since we got to turn in over here anyway. I'm gonna take this guy down just for the fun of it. Again, what did I just say? But yeah, I'm trying to get the most Dragon Charles that I can in before I do the impact. One, to get as much Ember stacked as possible. And two, to maximize the amount of time that they're rooted and can't screw with me. Eh. I definitely want to upgrade that, though. That little ability there. I, I, would, I feel like if we can make it give us Ember Stacks, or give the enemy Ember Stacks, I feel like it could be quite handy. Knock me out of the air from here, bitch. Actually, you probably can. Let's go turn this in. Yeah, stay over there. Make sure they reset. You're back. These I sure am. Quests are up here. See, it's mostly easy to get up. Yeah, I'm starting to feel this class a little bit more. And like I say, it's actually been... Oh my god, she just... Holy hell's bells. Nope, stop. Damn. Uh, but yeah, I'm really definitely feeling it more. The Kung Fu Master, at least at this level, was starting to get pretty boring, honestly. Or at least parts of it was really boring, because it was basically one, two, or it's like left click, one, left click, one, left click, one, left click, or left click, two, left click, two, left click, two, just over and over and over again. Uh, it's getting, I'm starting to mix it a little bit, mix it up a little bit more now. But yeah, I was kind of like, hmm, this is kind of getting a little bit repetitive, but at least... And that's the cool thing about figuring out your own combos and shit, right? Is that it kind of... Is this gonna like sound like I'm trying to make a negative a positive? And I guess in a way I am. But... You're kind of <laughs> stretching it out, so to speak. Oh, that's right, we have to do this over now. Uh, you're... Because, you know, you're spending more time trying to find an optimal... Optimal... Rotation while you're killing, while you're getting experience. Locked. Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling that 10%. That is giving me 10%, right? Increase ranged attack speed, yeah. I'm not feeling it. Honestly. Anyway, let's go. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. We'll go back. We'll go back and turn this in, and then we'll be done for this session. But yeah, if you, if you kind of figure them out yourself, one, it uh, you know again kind of quote unquote kills time because you're you're advancing, you're killing enemies you need to kill anyway. 
but at the same time, you're you're trying to find an optimal rotation for yourself. And two, I feel like you'll learn more about your class that way by trying all the different skills and see what you can get to combine into interesting combinations. I feel like you'll learn more about the ins and outs of the class that way. Because honestly, if I wasn't recording, I would probably spend more time just kind of looking at my skills and oh my god. Really? Look at it. <sighs> Come on. Guys. You're better than this. You're better than this. Those blatant uh, invisible walls. I said it would be finished when I, when I turned that in, but I lied. I'm gonna, we're gonna just we're gonna run over to the next area so you can see where it's at, and then uh, we'll we'll end it there. But and I kind of want to finish my thought. But yeah, I really feel like if you're fiddling around with different things, then you know you'll learn what the various abilities of your class do. And yes, even though some of these abilities might not be perfect for your optimal rotation. One, it's good to know about them because maybe there are situations where you want to spec that way or use these abilities at a certain time. And two, you might find that, you know what, maybe this isn't the 100% optimal build, but I find it more fun than the regular build. Because like I said, the, with the problem with that I'm having right now with, or not as much now, but before with the Kung Fu Master, as I felt like some of like the optimal rotation, at least as my understanding, was is it was just very boring. There we go. Just barely got it in before he unstunned. But yeah, like I said, you find something that's like, well, this is not perfect, but it's fun. So I'm gonna use this instead. And so what if you like it takes you 15 minutes overall to to level slower like who gives a shit, right? That's more like it. That's more like it. See, I feel like I'm really getting like understanding the things how they they work a little bit better. What is this? Oh, that's the back dash. And speak with Chang. Okay, yeah, he's. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right. Gotcha. Another. Man, that banner thing, Bangle or whatever, really drags behind, doesn't it? Alright, so. Quick, come over here. I know, I know. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, coming up, we'll actually probably be doing our first, like, what I would consider our first real dungeon run, the first six man dungeon doing our first boss so this should be fun so if you guys are getting ready for that excited for that anyway make sure to leave comments in the comment section below follow me on twitter and i'll see you next time